A lot of reptile owners have no idea they're taking care of their pets improperly. My name is Dr. Rachel Sue, and I'm here to tell you about bearded dragon husbandry in three minutes or less. Bearded dragons are one of the most popular reptiles that I see and for good reason. They have great personalities and make good pets if you can take care of them properly. Let's start with the basics. Now they live around eight to 10 years on average and you can tell the males from females once they're mature based on their femoral pores. Now these lizards can get pretty big, although you can work your way up to this size. Ideally, once they're full grown, they would have a four by two by two enclosure. There is a lot of debate when it comes to substrate, but a big no-no is do not use sand. They can eat this and become impacted. There are some bioactive soils that you can use for more experienced keepers. However, if you're inexperienced or new to the hobby, sometimes it's safer to go with more of a cleanable surface. For new reptile owners or young or sick animals, I do recommend something that can be changed daily like paper towels. I'll make another video later on on bioactive substrate. I use this for my reptiles, but again, I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner. Humidity should be around 30 to 50% and they should have a water bowl. Lighting and temperature is super important. They should have a basking spot of 100 to 105 degrees. Their cake should be on a gradient with the cooler side being around 80 to 85 degrees. Here's a big one. Bearded dragons must have UVB light. Without it, they can develop metabolic bone disease, which I'll go into more in another video. A lot of people don't realize that UVB bulbs often stop emitting UVB light around six months or so. So make sure you set a reminder in your calendar. Another big one is diet. Bearded dragons are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animal product. What a lot of people don't realize though, is that they eat more insects when they're young and eat more plants when they're older. A juvenile should be eating around 75% insects and 25% plants, and this should flip once they reach an adult age. Good insects that I recommend are dubia roaches and crickets. These have good protein to fat ratios, but you can also supplement with mealworms and waxworms and superworms for treats. A big thing is to make sure that these insects are gut loaded, which means you feed the plants to the insects before you feed it to the bearded dragon. There are also certain plants that you should and should not feed your bearded dragon. Plants that have good calcium to phosphorus ratio include collard greens, mustard greens, and dandelion greens. Sweet potatoes, squash, berries, mango, and some other fruits can be used as treats, but not be more than 25% of their plant-based diet. Avoid cabbage, spinach, and broccoli, as well as any freeze-dried insects. You should also dust these insects with calcium without vitamin D most of the time, but with vitamin D a few times a month. I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments what animal you want me to cover next, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.